So why is Jensen and Elon looking so disgusted? Because they're getting their butts kicked. <laughs> yeah, there are, there are eight stocks that I own, and I'm sure there are even more that are outperforming them. And it's because of two words. Then they are, you know them, artificial intelligence. But I don't think you, a lot of you recognize, at least if you're this is your first time on my channel, uh, you're probably going to be surprised to know that they're remodeling the internet. Yeah, so they're, they, it, it's just like remodeling a house you know it's we we've, we've had this same house now for 40 years and things have changed and we need to bring it up to speed well that's what the the advent of artificial intelligence and the coming machine learning has delivered the message to apple google microsoft amazon anybody who has a data center that we aren't going to be able to to process the data that's coming our way as a result of the change driven by artificial intelligence and machine learning so we've got to upgrade. So at this point, the manufacturers of computers and the parts of the computers, stocks are going through the roof. And But we got to know when the remodel is over. Okay. And so that's what I have done. And that's why these stocks are outperforming. And, and you know, they, NVIDIA is up 10% uh, this month in July and Tesla is up 1%. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, Homer, it's up 1% over the month, but Google's up 10, SMCI is up 31 Meta's up 13, AEHR's up 17, Palantir's up 24. I told you that was going to happen, and I told you why it was going to happen. Uh, RXRX is up 83% this month, July. Twist is up 25, and S. And SYM is up about 26. So what I want to do is share with you how I know this and how I track it and how I share this with my bus portfolio participants, those people who subscribe to our Patreon and will be then made available through our website, hopefully by the end of this week, and why their portfolio overall for the year, the, the the year to date is about up 84%. And and we have the stops or the signals, the alerts to as to when is this going to end and when do we get out? Because the next phase is bus 12. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, the best way I can show you this is take you to the bus portfolios, take you and show you what's going to be on our website by the end of this week, what's already in the Discord, and, and how I track these stocks on a daily, weekly basis, and understand what they're doing, why they're doing it, and what the overall tie-in is between them. I just watched a tremendous video by Alex from the, uh, the, the, the YouTube channel, uh, Ticker symbol you and he went through uh several of the stocks that are on here and then he also went into qualcomm and i thought well maybe i'm missing qualcomm then i searched into qualcomm and no no it's it doesn't belong because it doesn't meet the most important criteria and that most important criteria is do we have extraordinary revenue growth from quarter to quarter and as soon as we don't we know it's time to go somewhere else. Let me show you this. This is the bus 13 portfolio, and then we have the bus 12, which I'll show you. There are 21 stocks in this, and I've created a history. And then this is where I basically track the stocks on a daily basis and a monthly uh, year to date um, so that I, I, I can compare them and I can see what what's actually happening. And this is what we share on the Discord and we'll be sharing by the end of this week on our website. But I wanted to show you that um, this, that NVIDIA is being outperformed. They are, and I, I've brought up uh, in green here NVIDIA and you can see that on a uh, one month basis, NVIDIA is up 10.4%. Tesla, I, I, it's not in the portfolio, so but you're gonna have to take my word for it. It's up 1% for the month. Um, um, but here are the stocks that are outperforming NVIDIA and Tesla. And, and that, that would be, and, and, and again, it's not a big deal to outperform Tesla, but NVIDIA is up 10.36. Uh, Google's actually up 10.6, so it's up above it. Meta is up 13.09. 
Uh, SMCI is up 31.7. If you don't know what SMCI is, I really highly recommend that you you, um, you, you do some research and find out what it is. Because as you can see, uh, for the year, it's up uh, 494. And uh, for the week, it's up 610. But going on with those that are have outperformed um, NVIDIA this past month, we add to that um, uh, AEHR. Then I want to jump over to the uh, the bus 12 portfolio as you can see we're still building it and some of these stocks uh, haven't been around all that long so but let's go look and and again palantir i'm sure you know palantir for the month it's up 25 percent so that outperformed nvidia and then you got sym um, symbotics it's up 20 percent uh, actually it's up about that much today uh, then you have uh, RXRX, it's up 90% for the month, and Twist is up 22.7%. Uh, so if you don't know what those stocks are, what I do for my um, for our Patreon members, and this will be on the Discord, is I give a company description, and I go through each and every one of the stocks that are in either of the two portfolios, and I give you... Uh, a, a, a uh, description of what the stock is, what they do. And what we're trying to do here is basically identify stocks that have a, a consistent ability and in the future an ability to grow their revenues by in excess of 20%. And so uh, as we go down here, um, you you see, I'm just building part of that at at this time, but let's go down to some of those that uh, you may not know. This is Rambus. This is their income growth and then their revenue growth. And again, what I'm looking for is in excess of um, of 20 percent. Yeah, and and we're projecting for uh, 2024. Uh, this is super micro uh, computer. This is SMCI, uh, uh, and as you can see, again, a consistent growth of 20 percent. So we use that also as a measurement of um, when do we sell, because SMCI is basically supplying all the. Um, the, the data centers with new computers. Uh, it's upgrading uh, Google's, Microsoft, Apple's, uh, Amazon's uh, computer data centers, and it'll eventually upset, upgrade your computer. I don't know if you'll go all the way to super micro, but um, so so, but that will be end, that will end at some time. So, how do we know when that end comes? Well, we listen to their earnings call, and what we're listening for is have the earnings stopped exceeding twenty percent uh, per quarter. And if they are, then we have to reevaluate the stock, and it may be time to get out. So that's what we do on this, um, this, on the website and on the Discord. And again, one that you're probably very familiar with is that of Palantir, and uh, I, it, it's kind of an interesting story. Their revenues have grown admirably, um, uh, but the, but they, they they weren't making any money. Uh, they're projected they'll make some money this quarter, and that's why this stock is up so much. Because the, and and again, I did a video on this where I explained that up until March they were paying their employees 100% uh, a salary, and then matching it with uh, stock. Uh, giving them stock. So, so they were locking their employees. And well, on March of uh, this year, they changed that from 100% stock compensation to uh, 26%. And that's why they're making money now. And that's why the stock turned around. How do I know that? Because I listen to the earnings call, don't you? I listen to every earnings call. And if I don't, can't listen to them, I read them. Uh, here's another stock, uh, Synopsis. 
Um, again, you probably don't know what it is, but if you'd come here and you'd read this, I'll tell you what it is. And then I show you that uh, their, their revenue is growing, and it's because they've come up with a different kind of chip. And then this one, this one's exploding today. Uh, Symbotics. Uh, I, I got a, a, an inquiry on um, when I did a video, I think it was about two weeks ago. Uh, do you really think that company has some potential? Well, 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 obviously, some people do. Um, as again, it was a loser. Then it its revenue grew by 260 percent, and then 27 percent, and it's projected to to grow uh, at 58 percent. And what I know is they have orders from Walmart and Albertsons and Target that that basically they. They, they've booked themselves out for the next 12 quarters, um, and they're right now looking for contractors to f fulfill their obligations. So that's what I do. That's how I spend my days, uh, tracking these stocks and understanding them. Here's another one, Twist. You need to learn. This is a synthetic, says a synthetic biology company. What does that mean? Well, you need to know, because this company is going to change your life. Um, so that's that's what uh, the, the bus portfolios are all about. And as I said, we have the bus um, 13 and we have the bus 12. And these are on, um, on Google Sheets. So these numbers may change as we're sitting here because they update every 20 minutes. Um, and, and so I, it gives me a good uh, means of tracking it. Now you'll see right here, I'm not getting a number under the one day, and that's because the market was not open on Sunday. And so uh, the the formula that I have created is one that, uh, what is the current price? How does that comp compare to the price one day ago? Well, one day ago, the market wasn't open. It was Sunday. But this will light up on Tuesday and will run roughly Tuesday through uh Saturday, I guess, but that's that's the way it works. What I have here is a signal as for when do we sell. This is your 200-day moving average, and um, this is then um, this, the safe zone. This is this is the trailing 200-day uh, moving average on on Apple is 158. Uh, its current price is 196. So. It's telling me that the trailing 200 moving day average is 19% below Apple. If it gets within a a uh, probably a 10% range, we got to reevaluate it and say, is this something we need to look at? But then we'll know that because we listen to the earnings call and we know that at what Apple's earnings are, are they going up? Or are they stagnant or are they going down? And again, I just ask you, if you were buying into your local hardware store who competes with uh, Lowe's and, and, um, and Home Depot and you wanted to be a partner in it, what's the first question you would ask them? Well, I think the first question would be, do you make any money? Uh, the second question is, how are your revenues? What are your revenues compared to last year? Do you think that the CEO of, uh, of Google, no, the CFO, gets a report every day on the revenues of Google? Sure she does. Sure she does. She has somebody who compares it, and then they compare it to a year ago or a month ago because revenues dictate profits. You can always control expenses, but you have to drive revenues. And if revenues drop off, you better figure out why. And you only have three ways to increase your revenues. One is to increase your TAM, that is your total addressable market. Uh, number two is uh, to raise prices, which you're going to, you're seeing that n a number of companies are doing right now. Or number three is create a new product, innovate. So that's the only three ways you can control your 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 revenues. Your 
your expenses, you can control every day. I mean, you can you can close down an office, you can fire some people, you can uh, decrease your sales force. Um, there's all kinds of ways, but there's only one way, three ways to drive revenue. And that's why it's my job as the host or the chief of the tribe to listen to the revenue call or the uh, earnings calls and see if they're growing the revenue. And if they're not, why aren't they? It's just like we had, oh, I had a stock, uh, here it is, INTT, that has dropped 13% in the month, but now now it's up for the week, it's up 4%. Well, what, or why did that happen? Well, I know why it happened. Because I learned to listen to the earnings calls. Okay, I'm sorry, my my videos aren't as glitzy and glamorous as as some of the other people on YouTube. But that's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to razzle and dazzle you. I'm here to help you make money. I have a I have a gift. I, I have a, a few curses, but I also have a gift, and that is logic. I can look at something and say, if this happens and that happens and that happens, then this is going to happen. And we're at one of those, this is going to happen. And that is the internet is going to be rebuilt, the internet's going to change, and we need to adapt to it. And we need to figure out who are the companies that are going to change our lives and how close are we to them. I made a mistake. I'll be the first to admit, I, I, I want it cancer to be cured. I wanted genome sequencing to be a part of our life. I wanted um, genome editing uh, to be a part of our life, but it's not here yet. But this is right now today, Google is revamping their, their data centers and they're building new data centers to take on the load that's going to come from India and Africa. And that means uh, super macro um, a computer is going to continue to go up until all those racks are filled with their computers that my, that uh, NVIDIA will continue to go up, uh, advanced micro devices will continue to go up until the remodeling's done. And then we've got to know it's time to get out. It's time to go somewhere else. And we know where that is. That's bus 12 and then that's bus 14. And we'll talk about that another day. But for today, get on the bus.